the Lillian Link podcast. I am so excited to have you all today. Here today, I'm Lillian Cotter, and we are going to be talking about content. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is what on earth is content? I talk about that a lot. I use the word content all of the time to mean a lot of different things. And that is because content is a very overarching term. It is something that I use in place of saying articles or blogs or, um, images or event posts or newsletters or all of those other things. All of that is content. So some of the things that I mentioned within there were um, ways that you distribute the content. So a newsletter is a way that you distribute the content, but the content, but within the newsletter, there is content. You might be writing a paragraph or two. A social media post is another way that you are getting that content out there, but it is also content. Um, content includes generally a couple of different assets. So an asset being maybe it's the images that you're using. Maybe it's something like this. A video is also content. Um, maybe it is um, a quote, an inspirational quote that you use Canva to put together a pretty image that you're posting there. It also generally includes some form of copy and marketing copy is just referring to the text or the actual um, words around your content. So an article might include um, 500 words of copy and then three or four images. And that all comes together to create your article that is then a piece of content that you are using, which is just a quick little vocab lesson that I use because marketing loves jargon. You have decided that you're going to create content. Maybe that's a podcast. Maybe that's an article. Maybe that's just inspirational quotes. Maybe it's pictures of you at events. Whatever it is, you want to create content and you want to start posting that on LinkedIn. So how do you decide what it is that you should be posting? There are a few different ways that you are going to need to get started on that. The biggest things that I always talk about is you want to start with your goal, then you want to go into your audience, and then finally that's when you're going to start fulfilling what it is that your content needs to be. So what is it that you are trying to accomplish at that very, very high level? Then who are you trying to convince with that? And then what is the content that you're actually going to create? So you can do that in a lot of different ways. If you're most comfortable doing a podcast, do a podcast. If you're most comfortable creating a video, do a video. If you hate the idea of your voice or face being anywhere and you just want to write that down for other people to see, go ahead and do that. All of those can be really good, really valid ways to reach your audience. Um, there is a lot of ways that people talk about the value of doing different types of content in terms of the format, but I often find that people get really bogged down in whether or not they should be doing videos, whether or not they should be doing a podcast and lose sight of what's most important, which is what are you trying to accomplish and who do you need to convince in order to accomplish that? So when I think about content, I grade the value of my content based off of those two criteria. So I talk about content in terms of high, medium, and low value. So some the two ways that I, I grade that then is high value content is, val, is content that is both accomplishing my goal and engaging my audience. So there's a couple of different examples of that. For example, if I post a happy hour picture of me out with some coworkers or some people that I know from different work things and we're out chatting and just having a fun time, that ends up being some of the most engaging content that I see people and businesses posting. That's not doing a great job of accomplishing your goal. That doesn't make it bad. It doesn't automatically become bad or negative content. It just means that it's not high value in one of our two categories, but it is high value in another category. So it's highly engaging to your audience, which makes that high value in that way, but it's less engaging in terms of accomplishing your goal. So I would call that a mid value or a low value post. And if you find that for your audience, that type of content does not get a lot of engagement, then move away from that. That's something that you can learn and change and move for you and specifically your audience. Uh, another example of a different extreme is often I will see people posting like hyper specific product posts or hyper specific service posts. So for example, if I posted something on LinkedIn that was specifically around, I have these coaching calls and you can hire me to help you define all of this for you for your coaching calls. 
that is probably going to do a lot to accomplish my goal, right? Like I want to drive more business, more people coming to find me and hire me to help them make LinkedIn work for them. That's my coaching calls. The more people who see that super high value, right? If that is really unengaging to my audience, if they do not find that interesting, then I am not accomplishing my second goal. So again, that would probably fall into either a mid or low value post. So you want to make sure that you're doing a mix of that. That's where something like thought leadership ends up being really, really high value. Because if you know that your audience is out there and they have a lot of questions around some particular topic and you have the answers to those questions, You can answer them in a blog post that is going to be highly engaging to your audience while establishing you as a thought leader and as somebody who has the answers that they're looking for. I think that when it comes to content, that's the way that I always think that through. So is it accomplishing your goal? Is it appealing to your audience? How engaging is it and how well is it accomplishing your goal? You want to do a mix of those things Uh, because you can't always have something that is highly, that is super high value. So you're going to do a mix of things that are high value, low value, and mid value. Um, But that's the way to kind of think through how valuable is this? Because you need to do things that are straight up and down selling, telling people how they can pay you money. You need to do things that are engaging and interesting to your audience. And in the best Uh, the best kinds of content, the kind of content that is going to be the most engaging to your audience and the best accomplishing your goal. That's your high value stuff. And that's hard to make. So it has to be a mix of all of those different types of content. Thank you so much for listening today. I am uh, excited to go into more depth on some of these other content pieces in the future. Please let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts around what kind of content is high value and low value, what kind of format you think is best and why, Um, as well as any other questions you would like me to answer in the future. Thank you so much. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me across all social. It's Lillian Cotter on LinkedIn for my personal profile, otherwise Lillian Link everywhere. And I'm sure we will talk soon.